So viewers, I've had the weekend to think this over and I've decided I don't like it. It looks like a, I don't know, looks like a Chinese takeaway in the front of it. It's too square, too, too, there's not enough going on for me. So this is what normally happens to me. I, I, I have a plan. I execute the plan and then I'll stand back, look at it, and I don't like it. And that's what's happened now. So I want to give it a bit of character, a bit of depth. I don't want it to just look like a square box, you know what I mean? He's, he's got to look, he's got to look the part. So basically what I'm going to do now, I've, I've got two coffee machines identical. We're going to put, we're going to set both, of them. I was going to put them both on the top of here. And I thought, no. I don't want to put them both on the top. You need to be able to look over the top of them. And so basically I'm going to cut out, I'm going to cut the front out here. I'm going to drop them down and set them into the front, make a feature of it. And then possibly after that, I'm going to put a canopy around the top with some drop lights. And yeah, I think that's what, I think that's the way that I'm going to be going, viewers. I think that's the way. What do you think? I think, uh, I just don't want it to be too square. And. I missed the delivery on the wood, and the rest of my wood's not coming till Friday, so I've got plenty of time on my hands. Um, so there you have it, viewers. I think I'm going to be putting this out to drop the coffee machines into it. So they'll get they were going to go on that wall, they're now going to go on the front of the counter. Uh, that side, you're going to have the grinder and the hot water boiler, and at the back here, we'll have a sink unit, a hand wash basin, and a washing machine. That's the plan, it, which is a totally different plan to what I had the other day. So, uh, but that's what happens. That's what happens when I when I get my head around these things. I stand back, think about it, look at it, and go, Do I like it? Do I not? Am I going to be happy with it? And the answer is, No, I'm not going to be happy with it as it is. It, as I walk up to it, it looks like I'm walking into a Chinese takeaway, to be fair. That's the, that's the best way I can describe it. I've got this high counter. Uh, it's just very obtrusive. Um, no, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. So I'm, I'm going to set it in. Let's see where we go from here. Trust me, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take it to the next level. Take it to the next level. Okay, viewers. Right, let's see how we go. Basically, I've got, I'm going to, I'm cutting this out. I've, um, I've clamped a spirit level down here for a straight edge, four centimeters away from the cut where I want to be. My blade is four centimeters away from the edge, so I can just run it down there and get a perfectly straight line. Okay, so let's go and do it. I'm going to take the uh, take the little step ladder behind there so I can get above the cut. We don't want to, we want to be comfortable when we make this cut. You only get one chance at this. It's got to be right. So I get the cut, get the blade there. Let's get a battery for the battery for the saw. Always works better with a battery in it. <laughs> and um, we'll make that cut. Make that first initial cut. One thing I must say when we, when we do this, there ain't no turning back from this. This is when, as soon as I make this first cut, that's it. We're going. That's we got to go with it. Wish me luck, viewers. Hey. <laughs> Clamps off. Absolutely perfect where I wanted that to be. So I move over to this side. Once again, four centimeters away.
from the line we will clamp our spirit level down it doesn't have to be a spirit level it could be any sort of straight edge I use a spirit level on this at this point clamp my spirit level into place I always prefer to use a ruler in situations like this because you can put it up to up to the spirit level and get it bang on the button. So we're four centimetres away from that. Clamped it in place. Flip around the front. And put the other one into place. The ruler. Four centimetres. Bang on. Four centimetres. Four centimetres. Four centimetres. Measure, measure twice, cut once. Always. Always measure twice. Once you make that cut, there's no going back. Golden root. Again, we're four centimetres away from the blade with the spirit level. We're going to get up above the cut, always get above the cut. That's one of my golden rules. No good. If you don't feel comfortable before you make the cut, don't make the cut. Make sure you're above the cut and you can see everything that's going on. About four centimetres, off we go. Perfect, really happy with that. So I've got two perfectly straight cuts there in that workshop. There you have it, viewers. Bye bye. So, viewers, all I've got to do now. Of course this was fixed down before. I've now got to find out where my screws were. Luckily I've not painted, the, painted it yet because I was unsure what I was doing so I can see where my screws were. So basically just got to dig them out now and uh, unscrew it again. So get this uh, filler back out and fill the uh, screw in. Be able to get onto that one. Fill around this one. Right. Let's see if we can uh, extract them screws now, and then reveal the, the top where we want to be. Let's go with it. on that. No trouble with these batteries rules, you need to be sure to be sure. The last thing you want to do is chew the head up on the screw then we've got a real problem. So, just cut this out. gentle persuasion then. The hammer, hammer, hammer somewhere. Okay, I've started that one. 
Trying to expose the head on the screws so I could get straight in there for the next try. There you go, one, it's gone. Okay. Bob's your uncle has done that for him. Finally got it sorted. Stop away. Okay. There we have it. There we're gonna expose the cut now that we're gonna be going for. Straight down. Boom. Okay. Should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to come off this uh, corner here. We're going straight down at like that. these viewers this is the best tool I've ever ever had it is so incredible so easy to use it saves so much time right back to spirit level I've already marked out the height line down here to go. So we're going to cut straight down, across. Quite, so it's quite simply we're going to drop the top shelf down to this level and then the two coffee machines are going to sit by side down here. Uh, and it all looks so much, so much more pleasing to the eye. So much better. Actually uh, looking forward to this one now. Okay viewers. Okay viewers, what I've done here, I've marked a line four centimetres below where I want the cut. That's the depth of my blade on my circular saw. I'm now going to place a straight edge four centimetres below where I want to cut. So I'm just going to tack that with my nail gun. One nail on each side. Should suffice. On there and there. Okay, so I just pin a nail in here. That's one. Same at this side. Just one nail in each side with my nail gun. Check for level. Perfect. Okay. And now I just make the cut very, very slowly with my circular saw. Like I said before, I've got four inch, at uh, four inch, sorry, four centimeter the distance between the side of my circular saw and the blade itself. So I'm going to very carefully start the cut because I'm going to have to plunge in and then finish it with a jigsaw. So I'm going to plunge very slowly. Now that's us in. Now take it across very slowly. See we 
not worry at all about the blade. All you got to do is keep it the edge level with the edge of the wood that we've pinned on there. The temper is hitched, yeah. <laughs> piece of wood off there we go and now we've got a perfectly straight cut across where we want to be all we've got to do is extract the nails from that piece of wood and we're good to go so all I've got to do now is jig down the two straight cuts here then we can take out the, the center piece Okay viewers, I should be able to quite simply just take the screws out of here and take this front away now. I've already made the cut across and up both sides. Hopefully, if it just be a case of taking four screws out. One, two. Four screws out, hopefully now. There we go. Let's whip that away. Now then. We're cooking with gas now. All we gotta do now is take and knock the tops off these. Might be an idea to fasten them to the board first. Yeah, it will be. Fasten them to the board first. Um, and then knock the tops off them and then we can look at boxing it in again getting quite excited about this to be fair you can see what we're doing now so we're going to face it off there face it off there shelf it in there and then we'll sit the two coffee machines actually inside the top here I think it'll look wonderful. I think it'll look wonderful. Obviously, we'll, we'll throw off these edges, make it look a bit prettier. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. Looking forward to this one. I really am now. It's uh, it's not something I've done before. I just had that idea. I thought I didn't want it looking like a Chinese takeaway, and that's exactly what it looked like. You know, you go into these late night Chinese takeaways, and everything's high up. Uh, I, I didn't want that. I didn't want it like that at all. So I'm quite happy at the way it's turned out. This now. So viewers, uh, just sort my bits and pieces out now, and then um, pop the tops off these, and then I'll be cracking on again. This is why I never like, never like to have a game plan, because I'm always changing it as I go along. I get the ideas come to me as I, as I. Uh, go through with it and if I'd have carried on over the weekend the way I was thinking I'd have ended up with uh, basically a Chinese takeaway instead I'm gonna have a tricky coffee bar so there you go viewers so I'm gonna do now sort me bits and pieces out I'll be back to you shortly Right then, let's uh, nip this top off. Where's my saw gone? Just chop the top off this and then we can crack on. Oh! 
Lovely clean cut there, hey? Right. One gone. One to go. Snip this one down. Well, if you can see that, can you see that viewers? Let's go with it. As easy as that, viewers, it's as easy as that. Right, now we're cooking with gas. But we ain't got any gas. <laughs> okay, so the saying goes. Okay. Definitely liking it. Glad I've made the changes. I could have gone ahead and just, uh, just gone simply. I could have either more or less had it finished today, but I didn't like the the aesthetics of it. I, I did, just didn't like the, it. It's just square. It's just like there was no no character to it whatsoever. So I'm so glad that I actually took time out, stood back, looked at it, and, and made these changes. It's gonna be it's gonna be for the better. It definitely, definitely is. As soon as I slot these two coffee machines in here, it's gonna look really tricky. I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to this now. Two, two coffee machines here water boiler and uh, the coffee grinder on that side of course we'll shelve it out over here and underneath and probably put a few shelves up on the wall uh, take carrying uh, likes of muffins and cakes and what have you it's uh, yeah it's absolutely nothing like I envisaged at the start which is normally what happens when I do something I just change it as I go along and yeah I, I'm happy with this so Couple more days now because I've got to do. I'm definitely going to do a canopy, do some sort of a tricky canopy around here. I've not been mind up exactly what I'm going to do, but it will be sorted and it'll be sorted pretty soon. Okay. Well, viewers, we're getting there. Put the whole cut out. We've got the sides on. What we're going to do now is put the base, strengthen the legs behind to take the weight of the coffee machines. Then we're good to go. Once we've done that, we'll be rounding off the edges, doing any filling, and routing. Okay, so uh, I'm actually quite excited with this now. I think it's going to look uh, very, very clever, very tricky. Okay, so I'll catch you very, very shortly, viewers. Uh, okay, so all I've got to do then is cut the shelf part, put that on and drop the legs in behind wait for everything to set and settle and then we fill, paint and uh, varnish I'm also going to put, uh, I've just noticed that taking this part away has actually weakened this slightly over this side this is now movable so what I've decided to do, we're going to go up at this end and make a canopy so we're fastened onto the wall there to give this strength and make a canopy around housing some drop down lights onto the top of the counter and the coffee machines I think all in all it's going to look pretty good it's going to look pretty good don't want to rush it got plenty of time plenty of time and it's going to it, 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 uh, it will look the part when I'm done I'm absolutely convinced now that this is going to be pretty good Mmm, okay viewers, coming to the end of things today now, I'm getting tired, so I'm just going to fill a few holes up, cover up the screws, and when I come back, everything will be ready to go, that's that bit done. Okay.
Boom! Well, I could do a drive in a little bit further, that one. There you go, sink it in, then we can get some, get some filler on there, so you won't see the screw in after we apply the paint and varnish, the screw will disappear. Right. Okay guys, let's show you what we've done now. Uh, basically, well, I've run it through to you. I've got to, basically I've got two of these coffee machines, identical to two of these. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to put two, both of them side by side into that area. So they'll be sat in here. I think it'll look lovely. So we set them into that area. And we're going to obviously take that sign down, take them signs down. We're going to put a canopy around the top with some spotlights shining down onto onto the everything. Got to put a bit of skirting board around the bottom and some shelving inside, and obviously the plumbing. Luckily, we never finished the plumbing because it's changed a little bit. We have a little, a few little changes there on the plumbing, so because of what I've done here because originally the coffee machine was going on this back wall and now that they're not they're both going on that front I thought it'd be much much better for them to be on the front there okay so there you have it viewers if you like this video hit that like button subscribe and let me know I'll do more of them I love my, my little bits of DIY when I get started when I get cracking uh, if you want to see more of this let me know and there you go that's uh that's that bit for today and don't forget next week coming up we've got this whole wall here this whole wall here is going to be a bingo unit another bingo unit similar to this on that whole back wall okay there you have it viewers so we did change it slightly viewers uh But I think it's going to be for the best. Dirt's certainly going to have more space behind there because these coffee machines were going to go um, on this wall here, which would have greatly reduced the entrance here. Now they're going to go here, which has took no space at all off here. So we can put shelves underneath here. We can probably, we're going to put a water boiler up there and a coffee grinder and probably put some. Um, on this wall here probably do some shelving or something come up some idea for muffins and crisps and snacks things like that that can be sold out onto the bingo counter okay so there you have it we're gonna have bingo counter there we're gonna have bingo counter here we possibly will have a bingo counter here eventually so uh, and all these all this area you'll be able to eat as well as play bingo that's the general gist the general idea so we can have a snack and a sit down and enjoy yourself and have a game of bingo. Okay. There you go viewers. Catch you later then. Happy days. Happy days. All about happy days. We're signing off at all about happy days now. If you like this video, you know what to do. Catch you later.